Welcome back everyone for the next part of Devil Survivor Overclock. Um, I'm still not really sure with who I'm supposed to talk to now that Keisuke is running Amok and the uh, Jin told us a little bit about the past between Haru and Aya. And I think I still need to save Haru, even though she isn't really on my map right now. So how about I try to talk to Itsuru a bit more and afterwards I'm going to talk to Jin again. Yeah, sounds like a plan, right? Never mind, seems like there's more to it than just Itsuru. A number of people comes running out of Ekicho in a hurry. What's the matter? Demons! Monsters! Is that a fight? Demons! Let's check it out! Hey! Do it's dangerous! Wait, in wait, there. wait, do I need to fight here? No, right? As you dash into the grounds, you run into a man who seems to be I mean, seems to have barely escaped. You have a different portrait than anybody else. The man has a deep wound on his back from the demon's attack and is spreading heavenly. Whoa! Ten bit! Come on, hang in there. Ten bit? It's, it's you, Atlo. Ah, that's his uh, his com name. Wait here, we'll get help and. Don't bother. I'm not going to make it, but I'm glad I got to see you again. No. Ten bit, what are you saying? You just you just returned. You can't die. It's all right. Listen, I have to tell you something. The government is hiding the terrible secret. That's why I've been on the run. This whole time you were running away? Uh, what is it? A journalist I know left a file with me and vanished. I looked into it. I don't have the file. But what I discovered is in this comp. What? Take it. The password is... My... Yo, what? Man, speak up! No! No, Ten he's... Tenbit! He's gone! His clock! Tenbit! Tenbit. I'll hold on to this comp you gave me. We're, we're only three minutes in and somebody already died. What is this? You lean Tenbit's still warm body against the gate post and leave the ground. May you rest in peace. And I really hope no demons is going to take up your body. Did you know him? Why aren't we burying him? I mean, the demons would still be able to find him, but still, we can't just leave him here, right? Yeah. Remember how I told you about a guy I knew who went missing? That was him. His name was Tenbit. Um, on the internet, I mean. I'm sorry, Atsuro. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I don't know why. But I can't cry for him. <laughs> Am I this cold-hearted? No. No, you're not. You're just tired. He's right. With everything that's happened, it's no wonder you're tired. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Oh, it's true. Whatever he found is inside this comp. Looks like the whole system will lock up if we enter the wrong password even once. What? It's running low on batteries, too. Let's save this for later. What? What could be so important he'd risk his life to leave it with me? Terrible cover-up by the government, huh? Oh, and uh, it's already here, huh? You know what? You just told me that it's going to lock out if I even make one error. So uh, how about I save once and then we try to, uh, to unlock that comp? Hey. About the comp Tenbit left with me. Yeah. Beckett Ikicho? Yeah, that's the one. I was thinking it's about time we checked out what's in it. Sure. Go for it. All right. Let's get cracking. But won't it lock up if we get the password wrong? It seems that way. We only get one shot at this, so I want everyone's input. It's a four-digit code, but what would he use as a password? I don't know. His birthday? His address? Oh, maybe his phone number or his blood type. Yuzu, didn't he say four numbers? 
Do you even know how many possibilities there is if you if it's four numbers? Dude, I wouldn't use stuff that weak for my ATM pin. He go with something trickier. Hmm. What about his name? Yeah. He wouldn't forget his full name, and it would be hard to find out. In fact, even I only know his last name. Then how about his uh, employee number? Or maybe... Wait, it is his handle. His handle? You mean 10-bit? Seems like it. Can that be a number? A number, huh? Yeah, maybe so. Let's give it a shot. 10's already a number, but... What's bit? Uh, a bit is the smallest unit of data storage. It has two states, on, one, or off, zero. Hmm. Huh. So 10 bits would mean 20 states total? Whoa there, Yoohoo. It's not simple multiplication. It's actually exponentiation. The what? 10 bits isn't 2 times 10. It's 2 to the 10th power. Well, I know my stuff, huh? Ah. 2 to the 10th power. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's 2 to the 10th power? <laughs> wait, what? Uh, wait. Wait. For this case, we always have a, a calculator nearby. Let me just quickly grab it. 2 to the... Do we even have the power on this thing? No, of course not. Two, 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 one, two, three, six, two, two, uh, now we have eight twos, two, oh wait, no, what am I doing? That was the correct, oh no, two times two times two times two times two times two. Times two times two times two times two times two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, it should be one thousand twenty-four. What? You're right. It's ten twenty-four. See, you don't know that I cheated. Don't tell me. You Nobody that knows that. <laughs> Are you a secret math whiz? Maybe. Wait, ten twenty-four? That's four digits. Then, is that the answer? <laughs> wow, good call on the handle thing. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I just had to get my calculator. Come on, give me at least some of the credit. Sure, sir. Sure, sure, whatever. Hurry up and try the password. Jeez, you can be cruel. All right, here goes. One, zero, two, three. Uh, wasn't it four? Uh, Atsuro, uh, that's not it. Atsuro, are you trying to screw us over? Put in 1023. It's supposed to be 1024. My god. Calm down. In programming, numbers are counted starting from zero. Wait, what? So the largest value 10 bits can contain is 1023. Oh. Oh, is that something I wouldn't know? Haha. <laughs> Bingo. Oh. Huh. Jeez. How is any normal person supposed to know that? They wouldn't. That's why it's a good password, right? All right, I'm gonna read through this. Give me some time. Sure. Okay, good luck. In the meantime, we are what going the to... the hell? Already get information, it seems like. What's up, Atsuro? Did you find out something? Y yeah Do you guys know about the PSE law? Uh, no. PSE law? It was passed to make sure electronic devices are safe, but it has a lot of problems. Any electronic device that hasn't passed a special body's inspection can't be sold. A friend of mine got so mad because he couldn't buy an old used TV for cheap anymore. And how does it work? Well, the law wasn't explained very well to businesses or the relevant regulatory agencies. They only announced their policies right before the enforcement began. Some secondhand dealers were even forced into bankruptcy because of it. And they could just do that like this? And... What's that on news? Yeah, the retailers raised a stink in the media as soon as the policies were announced. Of course, I mean, if people went bankrupt because of it, of course people wouldn't just agree to it. It passed in 2001, but they allowed a grace period until 2006 because of the outcry. 
Oh, I think I remember that. I'm not much for gadgets, so I didn't know the details. Figures. That's how the government made people get used to it over time. But Tenbit and his journalist friend thought something was fishy. And they were right. That law had an undisclosed purpose. What? But aren't we talking about home appliances like microwaves and fridges? Yeah, that's the whole trick behind it. Take an ordinary microwave like we have. You have one at your place, right, Yuzu? You ever open it up and look inside? Of course not. What, what, why would we? Huh? Of course not. I mean, it's a microwave. That's what most people think. It's what let the government get away with this. No one noticed the extra chip installed inside every PSE certified product. Oh, is it something like those printer things? The printers also have an extra chip to make them, the printer stop working. Is it something like that? An extra chip? Yeah, it says here that's why the journalist disappeared. When Tenbit took over his work, he eventually figured out what the chip was for. And what does it do? When it gets a certain signal, the chip controls the output of the device's power source. For what, though? Tenbit wondered the same thing, and he discovered an astonishing fact. The real, classified intent of the PSE law was the UEM field. Okay. UEM what? What does UEM stand for? Ultra Electromagnetic. It's a super weapon that uses EM waves. A super weapon disguised as a microwave and a fridge. Which is around everywhere. Because in every single home is at least one microwave or a fridge. Even the stores have fridges. And let's not talk about the stores that sell those fridges. Look, every electronic device emits EM waves. Every one. But they're very weak. So ordinarily the waves don't pose any problem. But if there are enough of them, then they could be dangerous, right? However, a powerful EM wave moves molecules, which creates heat just like a microwave. Ever hear that joke about the cat in the microwave? Living things would boil to death. Ugh, that's an awful example. But is it easy to make EM waves that strong? Mm, I guess it's hard, but possible. Right, it's not impossible. It's like how we learned in physics that two overlapping waves can make a bigger one. The EM waves that ordinary household electronics emit are weak. But Japan is flooded with electronics nowadays. What if all those electronics had a chip that emitted EM waves on command? If someone activated them all at once, what would happen? All the waves combine and create a super strong wave. Oh god, no. Wait a second. You're saying someone, but the government passed this law, right? Why would they do something that dangerous? What would they do with a chip like that? Hmm. Probably counter invasion? I invasions? I mean, they could destroy the whole town if the whole town is filled with electricity, right? Maybe that is also the reason why they cut down our electric sources, so that we don't uh, use and maybe destroy those devices. So what? If some country invaded Japan, they'd use that UEM field thing against the invading army? Uh, okay, enough. Shouldn't we be thinking more about how to stay alive? But that might be important. And Midori's death clock is going to run out today. We have to help her. I know, but that is very important. Don't you see how dangerous that EM field might have been? And Utsura's friend, 10-bit, run away with those informations because his life was in danger, right? Come on, you two. Let's go. Okay, Yuzu. I guess uh, I guess you try to avoid the, su uh, the topic again. Hey, all that stuff. Does it really have nothing to do with us? I think it might. Yeah, I think so too. The lockdown and blackout. I hope they have nothing to do with this UEM field. There might have been. We should really keep that in mind. Oh god. Uh, is there somebody else I could talk to? Jin is still here. Azuru is still here. Honda is still here. How about we talk to Jin now? Because Azuru... I know that you probably want to talk about that thing again, but Jin has to have some time for some talks, right? 
Shiba Park is full of people at the mercy of the Shomenkai, waiting for help from outside. Well, the Shomenkai aren't really that bad, right? So... Why are you saying at the mercy of the Shomenkai? Oh well. The younger refugees seem to be relieved by the shelter to take the situa uh, situation seriously. Those guys get on my nerves. Don't they know what's going on? Lazy asses. At Zoro, they aren't able to fight back. Not all of them have a comp, right? Can't they at least offer to help however they can? They're just sitting there laughing as they leech off other people. Jeez. But then, that could have been us. Huh? I'm saying maybe we would have done the same thing. We went through a lot because we had our comps. But if we didn't... See what I mean? Yep. We would have ended up the same. Yeah. You might be right. Oops, I have to take a leak. I'll be right back. Uh, sure, take your time. I'm gonna go take a walk. I can't stand to look at those guys anymore. Sure. As you wait for your friends to return, you spot Jin at the corner of the park. It's Jin! Come on, let's have a bro talk. He's watching the youth with a cold gaze. Why? But then notice you and walks over. Why did you give them a dead glare? Did they make you mad? Not really. That's how people are, after all. <laughs> really? Pretty mature of you. Why would I get mad at other people? Kids their age are all the same. Their knucklehead parents get overprotective, so they don't even realize someone else is taking care of them. They mistake following the crowd for choosing their own path and never go off course. Well, that is the thing most people do. They avoid anything difficult and look for an easy way out. When did this start? Uh, since childhood? Since when did folks forget to give their all while still acting like they're all that? Truth is, you'll get nowhere without effort. And the time you waste keeps piling up. Right. But to be honest, I was no different until she snapped me out of it. Uh, really? <laughs> you'll have someone like that one day. Well, maybe I already have, right, Haru? Once, uh, once we talk a little bit more. <laughs> For me, it was Aya. She disappeared suddenly about six months ago. It was a cold, rainy day. <laughs> she called me to pick her up at the station. She forgot her umbrella. Well, I went, but she wasn't there. And I haven't seen her since. If she'd gotten sick of me, th that's fine. But if she's in trouble, I want to save her. I don't think she was sick of you. I mean, if she snapped you out of it... I don't think she would be a person who would just disappear like that, right? Now I'm worried, you know that? I did a little investigating, and I heard from someone who saw Aya at the station. According to his story, Aya got in a car with someone from the Shomenkai. Why? Uh, the Shomenkai? There's no proof it was the Shomenkai, but that's the only clue I have to go on. Hmm, want me to help you out? <laughs> Sorry. I let it get to me again. Jin, Jin, I have contact with the Shoman Kai, or at least Amani. And I had a little talk with the founder. Maybe I could get some information for you. But maybe this is fate. It'd really help me out if you pass on any info you find. Sure. I always like to help. Uh, I'll ask the Shoman Kai, yeah. you know? You do that if you get the chance. I just know they're hiding something. Don't worry, Jin. We're going to get to the bottom of this. I can tell because they seem to know about me and Aya. They act real skittish around me. That makes it even worse. My gut feeling tells me that the Shomenkai needed her for a specific purpose. Tell me anything you learn that points to Aya, no matter how slight it seems. Sure. Huh? Was that Jin? What was he saying? Man, the line for the bathroom was unreal. Hmm? What are you guys standing around for? Let's go. Sure, let's go. User doesn't need to have those informations. Oh, I can actually ask about Aya. So, uh, ask about Aya. Aya from the band Diva? Oh yeah, I've been seeing her before. She was with somebody wearing Shomenkai clothes. I think it was somebody important. Uh, nothing else? Oh, there's more. Why are you asking about Lady Aya? Unfortunately, I have nothing to tell you. Why do you even know that I was asking about Lady Aya? Are you stalking me? 
Why are you asking about Lady Aya? Unfortunately, I have nothing to tell you. Hmm, maybe there's something more I can ask about. No. Kaido. Here's somebody else. Lady Aya is Master Asuma's guest. No matter why you seek her, I have no reason to tell you. Why are you the only one who's going to give me some informations? You again? It doesn't matter why you want her. I won't say anything. So she's Will you there. Quit bugging us? If you want to see her so much, go talk to Master Azuma. Sure. He'll be at the hills in Rapongi at twelve hundred in two days. Ask him yourself. In two days? How am I supposed to remember that in two days? Do you even know how much stuff is going to happen in in the time span? Tell that other guy who was asking about Aya too. Uh, sure, Jin. Yes, Jin. We, we need to talk. To learn something about Aya now. Let's go tell Jin. Sure. Uh, Jin, where are you? Jin, here. Yeah. Or yeah. oh, also Midori. Uh, let's uh, let's check out with Midori first, just to make sure that she's alive. As you approach Omotesando, you see a number of people looking around carefully. Keep searching. That little witch is hiding somewhere. We'll find her. Oh, you don't really need to find her. Just look in the mirror, you old hag. Why are you Why are you guys hunting her down? She's only trying to help. But that girl rescued us. See, that girl knows don't her stuff. Don't Miss O so young and pretty. She summoned demons. You saw her. There's no doubt that she summoned the demons and turned them loose in the city. She's not here. Let's move on to the next place. The mob continues searching as they leave the area. What was that about? Did something happen here? Seems like it. They were after someone. Could it be... Hey! Hey! Are they gone? Yep, they are. Huh? That sounded like... Over here! Behind you! Oh, it's you, Midori! You and the others rush over to Midori. Glad to see you alive! Are you being hunted by people you helped again? Y yeah. Do you understand why everyone's scared of you? It's all a misunderstanding. I mean, I was doing the right thing. It's always right to help people, isn't it? If they don't realize it, then that's that. But... But you're going a little bit too far with that. What's that supposed to mean? I was always taught that if you have the ability to do what's right, you should. Yeah, saving people from being attacked by demons is a good thing. But don't you think you're ignoring what everyone else is thinking? Wh what? I am not! Of course you are, or else you wouldn't get hunted like a witch. No, you need to understand what they're seeing. Normal people can't tell the difference between normal demons and ones from comps. It's also a fact that there are those who abuse the comp's powers. Right, those Yakuza guys and the other demon tamers. People don't know if you're good or bad. They're afraid of all demon tamers they see. What do you imagine they'd think if you just strut in and start summoning demons all over? <sighs> hmm. You know what we mean, right? <sighs> I mean, come on. I know that you're stupid sometimes, but you can't be that blind, right? He's right. You get it, don't you, Midori? If you try to force them to see the world your way, it's not going to work. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry! There you go. But Daddy's always right! Daddy said, he said, I should do what's right, even if people don't accept it. That's why I... Well, he's not wrong, right? He's not? Daddy's not wrong? Of course not, but you need to see the arrows in your way. I mean, you were, you were a little bit over the top and you stole my comp. If you want to tell people what's right, you got to make sure they get the message. I think your dad wants you to understand that too. <laughs> um, I still don't really get it, but, uh, um, I'm sorry, but I... Uh, I still want to be a real heroine, so I'll stop showing off. Can I come with you and learn how it's really done? Sure. 
That's the good way. Thank you! I'll do my best! And with that, I have increased the time again. <laughs> Midori. Well, that's one of our objectives. What's next? Um. Well, we'll have to stop Keisuke. Thanks. It looked like Keisuke just lost himself in anger. I hope this doesn't get worse. <laughs> That's true. We have a town overrun by demons. And I don't think it could get possibly worse, right? Yeah. Shouldn't we be looking into that Belial demon too? Didn't we already do that? I mean, he's some kind of fire demon. Which means we need ice. I want to know more about this too. What the government hopes to do with this lockdown. And what'll happen if it fails. If this lockdown never ends, what are we gonna do? Hmm. Well, we can still stop the cause, right? Huh? We don't even know what the cause of all this is yet. Can we really stop it? But we, we have two days time to figure that out. So why not? I know you're worried, but we have to try. Otherwise, we'll regret it later. Yeah. Let's pull ourselves together and head on out. Sure. Let's yeah, do this. Let's go! Uh, first, I still need to talk to Jin, since I have those informations hey, what's he wanted. The Did something happen? Yep. I got the Sphinx, the Azuma guy. Kazuya tells Jin he may be able to ask Azuma of the Shomun Kai about Aya. Azuma, eh? Yeah, the guy with the evil look and the, the blue feather fa uh, or, or was it the flower? He has something on his neck. And he doesn't really wear the usual outfit, so I'm not really sure which role he has, but... Seems like he's related to Aya. Yeah, supposedly he's going to be at the Hills Building at noon in two days. The Hills Building in two days at noon. Alright, thanks. Maybe this will give me a lead on Aya's whereabouts. Sure. What? I can't no! Tell you how much Jin! To me. Jin! Thanks, what, is, what is going to happen? You die early? What did I do? Oh no! Oh no, Chin! And uh, the, the hard battle moved over to this spot now. How about I take a little peek and see if there are some new uh, <laughs> skills that I could possibly get? Oh my god! We killed Dairahan, Makajama, Life Ed. Mana search? Re okay. As you might gu possibly guess, I'm gonna have all of those things. Be right back. <laughs> so, there we go. We have all the skills that I wanted. And I think it's about time that we talk to Atsuru. Hey, I've been thinking, where do you think Naoya designed and built the server? Um, probably with the Shoman Kai, since they were the one buying it, right? The Shoman Kai? I think so too. The Shoman Kai hired an outsider to build this important system. I doubt they'd let him work without keeping an eye on him. Right. Now you must have designed the program in a Shoman Kai facility. Uh, you want to look into it? I'm thinking about it. Amane's challenging us, and I really want to find it now. If Naoya designed the system, he most likely had direct access to it. Right. If we searched where he was working, I thought there might be some clues there. Hmm. Um, then we should hurry before they get rid of it, well, right? Well, of course we should look soon, but what's the rush? Didn't you hear Suma? Crap, that's right! Didn't they say that they would clear out his that room That guy said they were going to clear out Naoya's room. We gotta get there soon. See? Uh, but what are we gonna tell them? We can't just walk up and ask to see Naoya's room. Why not? After all, I'm his cousin, right? I'm his cousin. Huh? <laughs> hey, that's right. Okay, let's go try that. I mean, I could pick up his stuff, if right? If a relative asked for Naoya's personal belongings, we might have a chance. Oh man, I'm so glad you're with us. <laughs> well, what could we possibly find? Maybe I some mean... source code. Maybe even a memo. We need all the help we can get. Right. Uh, what did Azuma say? They were going to clean out Naoya's room tomorrow? Let's go back to the Shomunkai facility before then, so we can snag Naoya's stuff. Well, why... Why aren't we going right up? Oh, wait. Uh, at which time is Hao going to die? 
before I go to Azura, let me check the mail again. Mm, Dory. Fatal shooting 17, so I still have time before, before I need to save her. Which means, let me go to Azuma right now to get the stuff before he clears it out. There he is! It's that guy! If we don't hurry, they might throw away all the stuff in Naoya's room. Right. Come on, let's go! Hmm. What's the matter? Forget something? Not really. There's something we'd like to talk to you about concerning Naoya. Naoya. What about him? Well, I'm his cousin, hmm. you know? He did say that he had a cousin going to high school. May I ask you for your name? Um, Kazuya I can see the resemblance between the two of you. Oh, yeah, it's obvious. So, uh, can we take the stuff that now you left behind in his room? I see. If you're hoping to find anything, I must inform you otherwise. Oh, he is on to us. What he left behind is of no use to anyone. No blueprints, no memos, no personal notes of any kind. <laughs> Is really onto us. All he left behind are some files of numbers and symbols that have no meaning. You say that, but we still want them anyways. You, really you know. Don't mind taking it? Yeah. yeah. I see. If you insist that much, then by all means, you can have them. Please come back tomorrow. We will sure. have them gathered up by then. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Well then. Good that those guys are so nice and give me the stuff I want. So now about Haru. Oh, it's you. Hey, it's me. You're... <laughs> Never mind. You keep at it, okay? Haru? Uh -huh. Oh, Haru. She's gone. Hey, what did Haru's death clock say? Zero. That's why I wanted to have a talk with her. It said so zero. today really is Haru's last. No, I refuse to let that happen. Let's rescue her. Sure. Uh, where is she? Oh, there's a battle. But you know what? We are slowly running out of time. I think I'm going to make a cut here since we learned quite a lot of stuff with Atsuru and the UA. What was his name? UEM Field, right? And the fact that the Shoman Kai have something to do with Ayas disappearing. And I'm sorry, Jin, for shortening your dead clock. That wasn't my. I, I didn't want it to kill you, but don't worry, I will not go let you go to Azuma alone. So hopefully I can raise this time again to to four or three. And uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun with this part. And tomorrow we're going to start with the Kanachi Joe battle. So until next time, bye!